Well, I've said it for a while now. When you look at the Labour Party, the Lib Dems, the Greens, uh, they're all much of a muchness now in my eyes. What are the substantial policy differences? I ain't seeing them. And the big challenge uh, for Brexiteers, for the Conservatives, is uh, a potential uh, alliance between the likes of Labour, Lib Dem, Green, maybe even the SNP in return for another referendum. This is being talked about now more and more, and indeed it's been promoted by some left-wing mainstream media. You've got, for instance, ahead of the two by-elections next week, Ed Davey uh, quoted by The Observer as saying, if Labour supporters vote tactically and back the Lib Dems in Tiverton and Honiton, they can help deliver the knockout blow to Boris Johnson. And yeah, lots of talk, of course, about those two by-elections next week that uh, Labour are focusing on Wakefield, the Lib Dems focusing on Tiverton and Honiton. And so tactical voting coming into play, perhaps a preview of what could be in store at the next general election. And make no mistake about it, left-wing mainstream media are already pursuing this. Look at The Observer, editorial, saying the surest way of defeating them is for all non-Tory voters to get behind the Progressive Party with the best chance of winning. In Devon, that means voting for the Lib Dems. In, so in, in Wakefield, we want to see supporters of non-Tory parties make their votes as potent as possible. In this case, it means getting behind the Labour candidate. It's not just the Observer, the New Statesman editorial as well, calling for anti-Tory tactical voting, uh, hitting out at the Rwanda uh, policy, which of course has big public support, saying to defeat the Conservative, anti-Johnson voters will need to work together, saying in Wakefield they should support Labour, in Tiverton they should support the Liberal Democrats, and calling for Boris Johnson uh, to be met by an alliance of unprecedented force, calling for socialists, liberals, greens and independent Tories to unite. And so yeah, expect to see uh, more of this. Of course, the prospect then is, if you did see a Labour, Lib Dem, Green, maybe SNP coalition in power, you only have to look, for instance, at what the Lib Dems are already saying openly when it comes to rejoining the EU single market to see what would be in store tactical voting and this so-called progressive alliance is now being pushed by some left-wing mainstream media. Let me know what you make of this in the comments below, guys. I'll keep bringing you all the very latest, so please do whack this video a quick thumbs up. And of course, as ever, cheers for watching.